Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I hope you had a great weekend. We are in May, and this is the time of year we sometimes get a name system. So the hurricane season starts June 1st, and the last hurricane to develop in May was actually down in the Caribbean back in 1970. Uh, four hurricanes on record have formed in the Atlantic Basin in the month of May, and again, several, set lots of tropical storms. So this time of year, we do watch things. And one thing we watch are things like this. You see passing by Bermuda right now, the rain storms here pulling off to the east of Bermuda. This is an old front, big wind maker for sure. And sometimes on these, things can spin up. I'm not seeing that on this, but we also look out here back into the open waters of the Atlantic this time of year as we get over toward the coast of Africa. That is where I'm waiting for our first tropical wave. We had our first tropical wave roll off last year uh, at about May 7th, May 8th. So again, we'll start to see some tropical waves moving off, but this time of year, conditions are still pretty hostile out there. And overall, water temps aren't too warm but occasionally you do get a name system in the month of May, and that's what I'll be watching. And this is back in 1970. This is Alma, and this actually rapidly intensified. It intensified quickly from next to nothing in the Southern Caribbean and then very close to Jamaica. So this is a satellite shot over 50 years ago uh, over toward the Cayman Islands. It flared up as a hurricane, and then it quickly fell apart and then eventually brought some rain up toward Western Cuba, up toward Florida in the Southeastern United States. That was a hurricane back in 1970 in May. I believe, top of my head, I think that was about May 20th. I'll check in on that. But okay, so overall, points of origin for May. May 1st through May 10th. Occasionally you get something popping up here in the Caribbean, but not too much. But as the month goes on, things ramp up. This is May 11th to May 20th since 1851. You see several uh, systems out here that did develop. And again, you see how they're closer to home uh, in the Western Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico, or at least close to the Gulf, into the uh, Caribbean. Here's the coast of Africa. Not a lot out there. So again, this is generally with old fronts. They leave that leftover moisture. And then as we get toward the end of the month, the Pacific side gets active. The Pacific season starts earlier. The official start of that is May 15th. So I'll keep an eye on that as we work our way into an El Nino season on the Pacific side. It should be uh, getting more and more active out there, a little bit less active in the Atlantic, but that doesn't tell us where storms are going to go and develop. So again, wait and see, and you just track things storm by storm, and that's what I'll do on this channel. Now, as we get into June, still close to home, and that's when things start to pop up as well in the Gulf of Mexico. The fronts that move by kind of stall out in the northern Gulf, and then you could get some development. So looking very close to home, that's why you got to keep a close eye on things because things can pop up uh, rather quickly, and they can be right in our backyard. And sometimes, as we know, systems don't need to get a name to cause flooding. We had that a lot last season in Trinidad and Tobago. Again, unnamed systems causing historic flooding in spots. Now, this is a crazy map here. This shows all the tracks uh, since 1851, uh, Pacific side and the Atlantic side, actually, and the Pacific side. This is back since uh, 1949, 1851 on the Atlantic side. But I do like to show this. That shows you, um, not to be an alarmist, but just to show you everyone has to watch this. East coast of the United States as we go through the season. And lately, we've been seeing more and more systems in the southern Carolina. Caribbean, which is typically just outside of that really hurricane belt. Last season, it was very active. So watching that southern storm track as well. Now for today, I want to get into the forecast. I want to show you several forecasts, and then we'll talk about the hurricane names. I'll do that in just a second for the upcoming season. But an old front here, so Belize, while the rain chances are high, we have been so dry. Uh, in Belize, we're going to see a chance of some spotty showers. Drying out Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana, and Suriname. St. Kitts and Nevis, we have those water shorts shortages ongoing, the water restrictions. I've uh, been watching that, so those are still ongoing. Pay attention to your local officials and what we've got going on with these water shortages. Now, by tomorrow, rain chance not too terribly high. Haiti, Dominican Republic passing shower. It's still some Honduras, Nicaragua, Guatemala, El Salvador. Costa Rica will get a few more showers tomorrow and then down through Panama, but you see in Trinidad, uh, pretty dry. Grenada, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, not a lot of rain right up through the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. Antigua and Barbuda passing shower chance. Pulling forward into Wednesday, and you see no substantial rain. Spotty showers in Suriname, but aside from a hit or miss shower, easterly flow, Barbuda.
Barbados and St. Lucia, there's not a lot of action. So if you're dealing with the drought conditions, as a lot of us are, it's just going to get worse as we go throughout the week. Plus, we have some of that Saharan dust that is around. Very dry out there. Very low air quality. All right, watching the winds again, gustier winds. Remember a week or two ago in the ABC Islands, it was actually stagnant out there. Still watching some gusty winds today and over the next couple days. We'll have some of the gusts around uh, 56 kilometers an hour. That's about 35 miles per hour. So some gusty winds here and there, even over toward the Yucatan and Mexico. And on the north side, watching Rotana by tomorrow, north side of Honduras, uh, seeing some of the gusty winds. But still watching these gusts south side of uh, Haiti, so toward Jacmel, uh, Boston Blue, and then you get toward uh, Jamaica, watching out for some of the uh, gusty winds as we work our way forward. So Belize, the rain chance, the best chance would be today. It's not a super high chance. This is just scattered, 40, 50% chance. But let me know in the comments if you do get a passing shower or two. Tuesday and Wednesday, again, back to that too dry of a pattern. Watching that, watching the wildfires. Jamaica, 30% chance of a pop-up shower. You see how it's not too high overall over toward Falmouth, Montego Bay, Kingston, Haiti. Rain chance isolated. Some higher terrain stuff. And on the south side, better chance of a passing shower. But again, a minimal 30% chance of a shower. Same thing as we work our way into the Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico, 30 to 40% chance of a shower or storm, both today and tomorrow, getting over toward beautiful St. Lucia. Rain chance, 20, 30%, that easterly flow. So it would be a passing shower, St. Lucia into Barbados over the next couple of days. Uh, and, and that's generally it. Same thing, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, 20, 30% chance, hit or miss shower in the forecast. We get toward Trinidad and Tobago, big difference from last week. We are so wet at times dealing with the flooding. Now, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, next to nothing. So also keep an eye on some of those wildfires. Now, as we go forward into the hurricane season and we look uh, for our first name system, again, the season starts June 1st, but the first name on the list is Arlene. Then Brett, Cindy, so this would be tropical storms or hurricanes, things that get names, uh, Don, Emily, Franklin, and Gert after that. And let's hope this is a season we don't get too far down the li list after last year's very historic season. So I'll keep you posted, watching out for that first tropical wave to develop over the next week or two. We'll monitor that together. Keep me posted on the weather, what's going on, where you are, and I'll keep you up to date uh, as we go throughout May as things get more active in the tropics. So thank you for sharing this channel and subs uh, subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a good day ahead.